vlog. Today, as the title implies, I am vlogging my 4D ultrasound experience. So we are headed to the appointment right now. So I'm vlogging from the car. Uh, we're really excited to finally meet the baby face to face, of course. I am, as of today, 28 weeks and five days, which is the ideal time to do the appointment. Um, before I made the appointment, I called and they told me that um, between 26 weeks and 30 weeks would probably give us the best pictures, the clearer pictures. And so, um, yeah, so we're right in the middle of that. So if you are potentially thinking about doing the 4D ultrasound or you are curious about the experience, I will try to vlog as much of it as I can. So stay tuned and hope you enjoy the video. Was he trying to get his hands to move? Yeah. <laughs> it's like he's teasing me. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, yep, I've seen that. Open. Yeah. Come on, he move around so much. Was he active right before you came in? Yes. Yep. They always do that. It's like he knows. I, I swear they do. That's why I tell people, I'm like, they know. They can hear us. They know what's going on. They're like, no. And he always, like, um, um, we had an ultrasound, just a regular OB ultrasound, and he had his hand in his face. Mm -hmm. 
What in the world? What in the world is going on? What is that? Oh, that's what it is. Oh, okay, I'm looking at the completely wrong thing. <laughs> You can tell what's going on with that. Oh, I can see something in this. That's what that circle is. That's the same umbilical cord. Oh. oh. They like to step on it too. Have you try and roll and face towards that way? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to the left, right? Yes. Okay. We try to make him a little mad. <laughs> 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 Got a mini on. Yeah. Well, you ran away to now. Oh, that's the baby right there with his yeah. mouth open. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Mouth wide open. There's that core. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? You can see your chin now. You sure can. Yeah. It's just amazing what I'm looking at. Like I would never think that all this stuff is going on. Like that is amazing that all the, that you can see through there. And every once in a while, you can see a fit photo of a baby's face come out. Sure can almost. Oh. 
That's his foot, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so it looks like a foot going in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his mouth is opening. Oh. Get that the uh, <laughs> baby the no. chicken sleeper. Okay, so we are back home. Um, we went to a place called L Little Bellies in uh, the Sandy Springs part of Atlanta. My appointment was about 30 minutes. And at the end of the appointment, they gave us our images in. So they printed some of them out for us. All of these. And uh, they also put them on a USB drive for us. And they sent them to my email so we literally have them three different ways and um the baby didn't completely cooperate we did get some good images of him but um <laughs> yeah so not as many as we would have liked um they did give us a card to come back and redo the appointment but i don't think that we will um i think that we got you know basically what we needed and what we wanted to see and even though we didn't get, you know, a bunch of images of his whole face, we did get a lot of images of his partial um, face. So, you know, we were happy with, with that and we were happy with the service. And so, yeah, we don't really see a need to repeat the appointment. But I will say, um, if you are going to make an appointment for a 4D ultrasound, uh, I think 26 to 30 weeks is a great time to do it. Um, I also think that probably a good time to schedule the appointment is you know times where you know your baby is more active um when we got there um he you know he just was comfortable and he didn't really want to move around too much eventually after me tossing back and forth a little bit and then getting up and walking around he did kind of move to a better position where we could see but i think maybe if i had a morning appointment when he's more active anyway um, it may have been easier to get some of those images. So um, overall, we had a great experience. Me and my husband really had a, like a good time. We actually enjoyed the appointment. And even though I have had a lot of different ultrasound appointments, um, this one was you know very different um, and it felt more interactive. And so it's definitely something that I would recommend um, if you're able to get it done. So. I will put the information of the place that we went in the description box if you do um, want to try there. Our sonographer's name was um, Hannah and she was great. Um, other than that, let's see. So for my last, my last video, let's just give a little update. 
uh, I think I did my last video right at the end of my second trimester. Now I'm officially in my third. And the only really major differences has really just been the fatigue <laughs> has come back. Like I'm, you know, back to being tired again, you know, more often than not. Um, still, of course, you can probably hear me just getting out of breath recording um, this little recording. And then obviously you have more aches, you know, just general aches and pains as the baby continues to grow and get bigger. So, um, so far, so good. Um, I, I passed my glucose test. I did my glucose test a couple of weeks ago. That came back normal. That was something that I was not worried about but had been on my mind and I passed that. Um, my iron was a little low when they did that test and so I'm officially on an iron supplement but again that's not something that's completely um, abnormal. So um, overall things are continuing to progress. Um, I told my husband at the um, after we left that appointment I was like okay the next thing I want to do is a maternity picture so I am on the hunt for a great maternity photographer in Atlanta and I think I will be you know trying to get those done in the next two to three weeks and then um, we also have a trip maybe our probably our last trip before the baby comes we're going to go to Orlando for a few days so we have that to look forward to I will record that and vlog that as well but overall it just continues to be really good experience and so um that's all i have for this video hope that you enjoyed the vlog and um, if you have any questions put them in the the comment section below and i will definitely answer all of them so until next time thanks guys